Uh, the, the Palm Beach is really run by women, and women are extremely observant. Women of a certain age don't dress for men, they begin to dress for women. And these extraordinarily expensive outfits that these women wear, other women will look at them and be able to, as if the price tags are right on them, to know where, what the designer is and what they're worth. Well, this, the charity event is the best way to rise socially. I mean, you don't buy, you don't buy a, merely come buying a, a couple of tickets for you and your wife, say. You get a table, and you bring people, and, and that's the way you, you, you announce yourself socially. And, and the right charities. I mean, I'm a, I'm a volunteer at the Lord's Place, which works with the homeless in Palm Beach. We have an event every season. It's not a chic event. The, 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 the creme de la creme of Palm Beach, that's not one of their charities. It's, you know, it's kind of ultra. Uh, so you've got, to, you've got to be the right charity, the Red Cross ball, the heart ball, the cancer. These are, these are things that the elite wants to become part of. No, the, 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 the charity balls don't raise a great deal of money, given in, it certainly, in, certainly in terms of what is spent on them. And, when, and, and in terms of taxes, you forget that so many things are given free and the person giving them is taking the write-off. For example, for the Red Cross ball, Donald Trump will fly down the ambassadors from Washington. I haven't asked him this, but I bet you anything, he's taking a tax write-off on that, on that for his plane, okay? Anybody would. And so, but that isn't factored in as the cost of it. And there's so many things like that. And so the, the, the ball, the charity ball, is really just a device to interest people in that charity, and then people hopefully will give money beyond that. And so there's, there's a paradox. There is gr incredible generosity, particularly in the Jewish community. If, if you're Jewish and you're wealthy, you have to give to charity or you're ostracized. I mean, it's just automatic. Palm Beach Country Club, you, when, you, when, you, when you, the Jewish Country Club, when you apply for a membership, they want to know that you've given major money to charity or you're not gonna, you're not gonna be a, become, a, become a member. The WASPs tend to be very cheap. I mean, look, look at the, the great cultural uh, edifices of, of, of the community of, of the recent years. The Kravitz Center, uh, Jewish money all the way. You go there and you, and you look at the names on the wall. It, it, it's, it would be shameful for the old establishment, uh, establishment of Palm Beach to look at that list and think, where, where is the Gentile money? Where's the old, where's the old money? That, if we're the elite of this community, where is our contributions? The same with the Norton, the Norton Art Museum, which is a world-class museum. It's, it's Jew overwhelmingly it's Jewish money. Well, I suggested that to several charities that they should have a quote unquote virtual ball where you give, your, you give that amount and on the evening of the ball, that day in the shiny sheet, the Palm Beach Daily, News, the Daily Newspaper, there'd be a full page ad and they'd show the layout for the ballroom, and there would be the tables, and there would be your names, so you get a little publicity, and almost, you know, 95% of the money then would go to the charity. But that doesn't seem to work, because people want to go, they want to show off. It's, a, it's the best way to rise socially. When you come down here, it's basically a transient community, of people coming up, most people coming with their, you know, late middle age. Uh, and this is, the, this is the way you announce yourself and become part of the community. And you, if you do it right, you're accepted in that elite circle. If you don't, bye-bye. Well, th first of all, th 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 there are professional party givers that are involved with the charities that make a very good living doing this. There are some uh, dedicated people that work putting on these balls, but an awful lot of the work is done by professionals with the names of these people up front. Traditionally, women have been the leaders of these balls. Recently, there have been more couples doing it and, men, and, and occasion men, men doing it, but that's, that, that's quite new. Look, uh, life is made of mixed motives. And the best things in life and the worst things in life are done for mixed motives. The charities, yes, it's, to, to, it's for social advancement, uh, it's to show off, it's to uh, display your dress and your wealth publicly, but it's also to, 
in many instances, it, it, it's about concern for that charity and to raise money in a way that uh, will get these people to do it. I mean, they're not going to just, they're not going to, uh, what Malamid is the, the Jewish uh, rab, rabbi from the Middle East, rabbi, has you six levels of charity. Well, the lowest level in modern terms is when you want your name on the building. I mean, you, 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 you want people to know that you're, and that's the, the level that most people in Palm Beach for the giving, they want the world to know that they're giving this money. There are other people that aren't like that at all that make these magnificent gifts here that nobody knows about it. And that one, and it must be said, this is one of the great things about America is, yes, charity is a write-off. Yes, we, we, you know, that's all true. But yet it's, there's no society in the world in which individual charity is as important in the United States. Europeans don't have, don't have, have no concept of this, or, or Japanese. They, don't, they just don't do it that way. They, they, they're charitable to their friends and to their neighbors and to their relatives, but not, the, not to the extent that we are in America. So it's not just, I, I want to be very careful not to just be totally negative about this and put it down, because it, it's taking advantage of uh, one part of human nature, the, the, the kind of, the, 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 to, to want to show off, to want to, uh, to be in the, the, the in group, and to use that, hopefully, to do something good. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. Well, people, some people live or die if their picture is in the, sh in the shiny sheet, the Palm Beach Daily News, or in some of these other periodicals. So people find that there's a sanctity to print, to seeing your picture. You think you're immortal if you're in there. You just love it. And some people, they're just obsessed with that. They have their own PR people to help them get in the paper. I don't think they even want too many youthful people around. Because if you're a 65-year-old woman, you know, trying to look 30 in a $15,000 gown, you don't want some sexy 25-year-old to be at the table next to you, believe me. The shiny sheet, it doesn't cover international news, it doesn't cover national news, it doesn't cover state news, it doesn't even cover West Palm Beach. It is just for this community. And it is another kind of the, the the self-conscious isolation of Palm Beach. You come down here, you're in this fantasy, that's what you want. You don't want to, you, you don't want to hear about these things. You can hear about these things somewhere else, but you, that's not where you go to find that. Well, the season has expanded. It used to be, you know, it wouldn't start until January and, and end on George Washington's birthday. And now it's I think it's a much more flexible thing. Certainly, I would say around Thanksgiving is when most people come down are down here. Um. De Tocqueville was the first person to note this: that Americans have this rapaciousness in which they pursue affluence, and they're very successful at that. But then to be happy and to live and to use that, they they are not that good at that. We've seen that again and again. You know, you go to another country, sit in Paris with a group of people, and they're sitting, they're just, there's an enjoyment, a pleasure in life. It's not just Palm Beach. The, st the struggle to be happy here and to find something, to use that affluence in a way that is positive and meaningful is really the American struggle. It's not just Palm Beach. Unhappiness is a luxury. I mean, I lived in Peru. And believe me, the people I knew in Peru didn't wake up in the morning and think, am I happy or not? There was such an immense struggle to get enough to eat that day. And so that, that yes, there's probably more happiness and unhappy. There's a lot of unhappiness in Palm Beach because one is confronted by it. I mean, here I have all this wealth, I have this beautiful place to live. Why am I not happy?